Hello, hello guys. Good evening and uh, we are back for the game number two. A possible last game ng ating uh, third series. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Dodgers turn to pick. Radiant must choose. Morphling. Uh, there goes more playing for the last pick than uh, Blacklist Rivalry. Okay, interesting. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. <laughs> So naman natin tayong uh, binagaw kay Morpling. Actually, na-nerf pa nga siya. Kasi nawala yung bonus attributes sa shard upgrade. And now for execution, time for them to decide para sa kanilang uh, last hero. So this will be Crystal Maiden position 4. If I'm not Phantom mistaken. And that's a Phantom Lancer pick for the set of Execration. So, good naman to. Para sa akin. I mean, uh, you have Oracle for the Dispel. You have Phantom Lancer. Diba? Another Dispel available. And as for KP, I don't think uh, mag, uh, mag e stick in a pan build siya dito. Baka possible siya. Uh, actually, Oracle position 4 yung mga yare for this uh, game. Ang, ang ganda lang set ni Shanks. Ngayon ko lang nakita set na to for Oracle. Ang weird. Parang di na si Oracle yung nakikita natin. So, waiting sa lang tayo mag-start yung uh, game mismo. Parang mas okay yung draft na nakuha ng uh, Execration compared to Blacklist. So I think uh, hindi malabo magkaroon tayo ng game number 3 with this kind of draft on both sides. So this whole mess is all your fault? So this whole mess is all your fault? Just 30 seconds now.
Now Max out Fortune's end Gonna do grab the Rubik Bosku Another shockwave is coming up Para Kitino That's gonna be first But secured Para sa ating Magnus So Kuru goes down And so much more Shall soon be spilled Sticky Bomb Tamang uh, Ano ba nilagyan ni KP dito? Okay He went for Flame Break Para sa kanyang uh, unang skill choice Palos, just getting uh, bullied by teams. Non-stop na proximity uh, na sticky bomb. Binabato niya dito. Last for teams. Wala na siya magagawa dyan. Top lane. That's gonna be Oracle dead. In the hands of Boss Ku. I think he got outplayed by the Rubik. We're out, para kay Tino. The radiant glyph is now active. Handy. Oh, skewer play para kay Tino na naman. Mm. Saving Shanks, of course. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. So for the side of a blacklist, mukhang di naman nila pinaplan ng... Uh, the pressure, yung mga Magnus dito, with Bracer and Ring of Health available, medyo mahirap na rin talaga. Flame <laughs> <laughs> break. Palos 
Blast off. Saktong sakto naman para kay teams. And they're now chasing the real one. Frostbite will be there. Palos will be saved by his teammates. And that's another hero. Will be TPing in. Will be able to finish off the Batrider. KP is dead. A little something extra. So at least uh, ready naman dun. Yung uh, execution. But now it's gonna be Tino to fall on top lane. Nakabawi naman agad dito yung Blacklist. Knowing na wala nga yung isang hero. Isang support. Ng uh, Magnus. Quicky lang. Bumawi agad yung uh, Blacklist dito. Well, two to the score. And blast off coming in again. Palos, delicado na naman. They have the fortunes and, but it's not gonna be enough to save Palos. He goes down this time around. And how about for the bat rider? Mong uh, babawi dito si KP KP on to the next target. Carlo dead as well. Double kill secured, pero napalay na patinam siya dito ni Shanks with the purifying flames available. Teams, well, di nga lang tumama yung Tiki Bomb, but it won't matter. Kuku joining the fight, making sure they might be able to ping down Shanks. So, three heroes dead in total for the side of Execration. Kuki lead for Blacklist. And there goes Palos, in trouble. Teams, just trying to bait out the double tanker. Actually, he's using his second skill. For the second time around, he goes down. 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 So what a start! Ay lang exit ng blacklist plus sorry. What a start for blacklist. Tayo yung gusto ko ng ano? Galawan ng blacklist. Yung talagang nagorotate sila. So there are times that parang sobrang passive kasi ng Blacklist eh. Not this time. Ganda yung performance nila for the Game 1 and Game 2. Talaga nakikita mo yung uh, gigil nila na dominate ng lane. Ganun. May panahali yung lane. Kumuha ng kill. Kasi yun talaga yung uh, parang meta natin ngayon. Hindi na uso yung masyadong passive. Not unless pareho kayong gustong mag-passive. Mayroon pag isa lang yung gustong mag-passive na team. Usually sila yung nalulugi. How Kuku? Well, the first one to die is the Crystal Maiden. And as for Kuku, he goes down. Side of fist for the Amber Spirit. From starting building, no? Gigil na. Well, switch back again for Carl. Diba? May gigil lang ng onti yung black. Kasi diba mayroong uh, parang issue yung kay Kimo ba yun, diba? Tsaka kay Kuo. Gigil lang yung blacklist siguro. Talagang uh, gusto nilang talunan yung execution. Which is possible naman. Pop dito, inabutan pa nga ng Swash Buckle. Namatay din naman dito si teams. But that's a much bigger kill secure for the side of blacklist. And it's CK lead already for blacklist. 8 minutes in. Looking at the network, top 3 na naman dito is yung core heroes for blacklist. Going 9 minutes sa game natin. Boss crew. But he goes down. Same goes with the Ember Spirit. Another bigger trade secured for Sada Blacklist. Bob down again. And they might be able to look at more. It's gonna be Carlo. Let's make it 2 dead in total for the side of Execration. And now they're up 4 key lead for Blacklist. Ganda na start nila dito.
champion's top tower. That should help. Under attack. So now what? Up network is yung bat rider. I mean, bigyan ako makita to bat rider off lane yung top network. And actually, this is a lineup na merong Oracle, merong Phantom Lancer, pero leading pa rin sa network is yung bat rider. A top lane for execution. <laughs> there goes the blast off. Over to the Phantom Lancer. Flaming Lancer is available for the KP. Phantom Lancer. Yeah, nowhere to run. He goes down in the hands of the Bat Rider. Bat Rider with Vanguard going for Octane Core. And now it's gonna be Pangolier. Crossbite coming in. Carl gonna pop his ultimate for this. Might be looking for what is your target, which will be Carlo. There goes the Rolling Thunder. Right click coming for Carl. Enough to finish him off. And now Ember Spirit Bolt Rams came in for the Jack to even. We from in. Come down for even. Joining the fight. Ito yung gusto ko, yung biglang nagkukukulan yung Brachys Kasi dapat yung place na pinapakit nila And that's 4 dead in total for the side of execution Hindi yung puro nagpa-farm lang At least diba nagkaroon na tayo ng some adjustment for the Brachys squad Radiance 5k advantage for Brachys Radiance should look to their middle tower tower as forward. Radiance middle tower is no more. Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Now uh, over to Palos. Again, spotted him. Kind of a guy was Palos Dito. The Phantom Lancer dead again. Difference in network ng PL sa Morphling masyado nang uh, lumalaki. Kalakado dito yung execution kapag nag-continue to. Para sobrang uh, Shanks. Yeah, promise. Mong mama tayo pa rin naman si Shanks. Kasi sobrang comfortable ng blacklist in uh, fighting execution. Regeneration. Para alam nila kung saan ano yung gagawin ng execution. Ganun. Napupunta. Carlo dito with the freezing field. Stolen freezing field para kay Bosco. They'll try and throw this over to Carlo. Darby will be there. Bosco might be taken out. They have the Rolling Thunder come out for Carl. TP is way out. Back to safety. So one for one trade na naman yung nangyari dito. Although more heroes yung nag-garret. Nag-respond dun for the side of uh, Execration. Kaya parang okay pa rin yun for uh, Blacklist. 7k lead na, and this Morpling closing in for his Manta style. Oh, hello sa'yo, Kim Anthony. Good evening, boss, and uh, welcome sa ating stream. Mukhang uh, possible nga, the last game na natin kung pag ganito yung nangyayari. Blast off, over to Tino. Tino, mandalaban ba? Well, uh, we'll be having his Kira in one more second. Kaso na last yun din ang Pat Rider, and that's a damage. Enough for them to kill him. Hindi na nakatakas Tino dun. 40 seconds out for the Magnus. Actually, siya nalang parang medyo okay nangyayari dito for the side of Execration. And now, he's been brought down. 
So, mas lalong magkakaroon ng uh, advantage dito. Yung uh, Blacklist. Mid lane. Embers. Light of Fist. Remnant out. Stolen Remnant para kay Bosku. Hang on. Sobrang uh, palumpalo si Bosku dito ah. Kabul na kabul. Shanks goes down and going for the Ember. Doesn't have the Remnant anymore. Mamamatay pa nga siya dito. Let's do that for the side of Execration. And Batrider was on its way para kay Carlo. Frostbite available naman. But the turn rate. Grabe. Sobrang bagal ng turn rate doon para kay Carlo. Naabutan siya ni Raven. That's triple kill for the Morphling. 10k lead for Blacklist. The shout out nga pala sa Mrs. Nick Kennedy na si Rosel. And shout out madam and uh, welcome po sa ating na stream. Roshan for the side of Black Beast. And a smoke play for execution. Wala nga na silang ahabutan. Ang layo nila. Yeah, they're not expecting na nag-Roshan na yung Black Beast at 17 minute mark with more Flink, Manta Style, and the Morbid Mask. Possibly. And that's being secured para kay Carl. So, it uh, looks like Raven will continue to farm. Since binigay yung Aegis dito sa Pangolier, sila, sila na muna yung gagawa ng mga play. Tamang farm pa rin naman for more Flink. And uh, Kuku is right here. Phantom Lancer, Defusal Blade going for Yasha pa lang sa kanyang Magvitan Choice. Possible na magmanta style yung uh, PL. And as for Morpling, is going for early Butterfly. So one way to deal with Phantom Lancer. Lalo na kung sobrang outfarm sa'yo. Yung PL, may hirapan ko. And now, there goes the blast of holding on Bob with the Dattle Strike. First damage from Raven, gonna bring him down. Shines goes down as well. Double kill secured para kay Raven. And Carl will be able to finish up the Crystal Maiden who's trying to escape. That's three dead in total for the side of Execration. Path Rider on its way for the next target. Pero nakapag-TP out naman na si Palos. And that will be the end of it. I almost feel bad. Well, bottom lane action. Na kapag remnant out parin naman si Bob. So the skier play over to Carl. Yeah, we'll be able to bring him down, but that's an Aegis use for Akai Carl. The question is, can they kill him for the second time around? Carl Dito is alive. There goes KP. Basically, still jumping in for Akai Carl to slow him down. KP Dito, can he escape? RP available, but the Flaming Lancer will be able to stop Dino from doing so. But he has a false ramp is for the base for a strong dispel. And now stolen what? For the Sarubik. Track wave level one only. So now it's clear out for the man Dito's boss Dino, and now it's gonna be Embers. Who bought back? Managed to bring down the Techies. Morphs into the Ember Spirit for the Morphling. He'll try and fight back. Bob goes down. Die back for the Bob. And they're going for the next target. It's gonna be Shanks. They need to bring down this Pesky Oracle. And same goes to the Crystal Raid. That's three dead in total. The RP coming in for the Dino. But where's their follow up? There we go. Double Bible for the support kills on the side of Execration. Trying to take this fight for them. Trying to win this fight. But Dino goes down already. They don't have the damage anymore. Execration are just falling apart. 
Flame Break coming in. KP, but the Fates Edic is available for Carlo to survive and make his way out. But that was a huge win for Blacklist already. Sobrang daming nag buyback. Sobrang daming kunamit ng execution. And wala lang sila nakuha, except for the techies. Nineteen K advantage for Blacklist. Tormentor. Shard upgrade. Napunta pa nga kay Bosco. Napakagandang shard upgrade nito for the Rubik. Pag nawa niya yung freezing field, pwede pwede siyang gumalaw. Magcast ng spell. Well, there goes the Ember. Getting changed. Bob dead. Out for 40 seconds. No buyback for the Ember Spirit. And Blacklist decided to smoke up. Rolling Thunder para kay Carl. They do scout out the Oracle, but they're going for the much bigger target. And that's gonna be Palos. The Agent is really out here. No, he cannot. Palos goes down again. Same goes with the, or with the Crystal Maiden. Oracle might be next. It's just... Kills after kills, we make it to nothing dito for Blacklist. God likes for Raven. I think game might be over right now. Pwede na mag uh, top out dito yung execration. Flaming Lasso, grabbing out Tino. Lasso for the follow up control. Grabe, ang pilis nito. Baka talaga yung things to know. Twenty six K lead for Blacklist. Radiant Middle Tower has fallen. Any glass of Bob goes down. Well, that's all. Brent has done a damage to Morphing, and they're going to end this for sure. A very one sided game. Pinakita natin dito. Set of racks on bottom lane, not secure naman na dito ng Blacklist. Lotion, still not yet up. KP, on its way, looking for the Phantom Lancer. Pero nakapag uh, TP out naman na dito si Palos. So, wala na silang nakaabutan dyan. Deadly sweet.
Thunder. Over to the Phantom Lancer. Abutan pa rin naman si Palos. But they managed to bring down the Bob first. Palos will uh, do escape. Tormentor. Pwede pa ang kunin ng Blackfish if they want to. Ano ba silang magandang uh, shard upgrade na makukuha? Parang wala naman na masyado. Okay, we'll be playing uh, Magic Mason. Na shard. Okay. Tatry pa rin naman ang Execration. Ano ba yung shard na yung Morpho? Okay, pa rin naman. Okay, mabilisan lang. Shard upgrade was given to Tekis. Mas mayaman na yung Tekis sa Magnus. Skiver. Second Roshan for Blacklist to grab. Ito na siguro yan. Maging uh, ticket to end the game. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. There goes the Rolling Thunder. False Promise used, saving out Tino. Carl still will be looking to control him on the back line. They managed to bring down two already. Tino is included. Same goes with Shanks. And now Fortification comes in for the side of Execration. No buyback for these two heroes. Execration. They might be able to get this one. Pops the cheese. Para kay Carl. Is that correct? Claiming that Tino. Mahuli pa nga dito yung first uh, one. That's three dead already. Boss crew with a stolen hero play. Lang lang siya butan. Now, four more blink is out of mana, but it won't matter. Meron pa naman siya yung dito, and they're both, I mean, all of them are alive. 2v5 situation, Phantom Lancer constantly throwing the Phantom Lance. Spirit Lance for last with Agarin's upgrade. Medyo na yung slow down yung blacklist because of this. Flaming Lasso over to the Phantom Lancer, Palos. Palos is dead. So now, mukhang kailangan pa ma-force out yung buyback dito ng TL. Well, as for Raven, uh, there goes the Harpoon place. Here were RP. Aegis. Gusto nilang ma-burn out, pero Raven dito is shifting into strength already. Still alive. They have the control. The Frostbite will be there. But another skewer from Timo is available. Raven getting controlled over to the back lines. And now Palos will be looking to finish him off. Do they have the damage for him? I think another skewer available in the kay Tino. Skewer him out over to the fountain. They just need to kill him in this place. Then try to skewer with it. Para kay Tino. Blaming Lasser. Grabbing room. Yep, that's double buyback used for the side of execution. And there goes another skewer. But not gonna be enough to hold out this morph blink. Morph into the Magnus. Skewer out. Para kay Raven. Beagle has been popped para kay KP. Still available pa naman yung set of back. Skewer in. I mean, actually, Bosco pala yung skewer. Another skewer here is full guard. Multiple skewer coming in for both sides. And uh, Bosco was taken out. But so many buyback has been used for execution to hold out this push. And there goes another buyback. It's gonna be boss good this time. Ember not gonna make it. He's out for 17. Skewer in. Para sa Morphling. False Promise is available. Is it gonna be enough to keep Tino alive? But they're going for Shanks instead. Shanks goes down. Tino. Can he escape? That's the question. That was like available. But not gonna finish him off. He survived. But not the three heroes on the side of Execration. No buyback for the three. Tino and Palos. He's the only one left to hold this for a full minute. Yes. 
And they might be going for Megas. Yes, they is. Yes, they are. Live. Fade Bolt. Double Gacker for the PL. Rolling Thunder Blast off. Nako, delicado si Palos. That this game should be over. Palos is down. Doesn't have any buyback. And GG has been told. That's it. Blacklist. So what a performance for Blacklist Rivalry para sa ating uh, game. I mean, so para sa ating ser series na to, last series. Ganda na pinakita ng uh, Blacklist dito. For KP, talagang uh, nag step up na siya as an offlane uh, player. Sobrang kita naman natin yung performance ni KP sa bot lane. Siya pa nga top network kanina. And draft-wise for Blacklist and the way they approach the game, slightly nag-improve na rin kahit pa paano, di ba? Medyo mabilis na sila gumalaw. Constant rotation na kita natin for Blacklist. Kailangan na talaga siguro ng Blacklist is uh, mag-dominate, I mean, I mean uh, mag-manalo sa lane stage. At hindi kapag panalo sa lane stage, medyo aggressive sila maglaro eh. Pero pag yung kalaban na rin panalo sa lane stage, sobrang passive ng Blacklist. Parang hindi sila nakaisip ng way para lang uh, makakuha ng recovery. I don't know. Pero this time, maganda yung performance ng Blacklist. Congratulations, 2-0 para sa Blacklist. So, uh, babalik tayo for the next series. Possible si Ate Sharon yan sa Western Europe. As for me, tomorrow na ulit tayo magkikita-kita and uh, China region ulit tayo for tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching guys and good night sa inyong lahat.